Welcome to John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. We're at Young's Bay Resort. On the Great Lake of the Woods, and we're here for our annual muskie hunt. Christian Leitner, Pete Mena, and we're gonna have lots of fun. Fleet Farm presents John Gillespie's Waters and Woods. Fleet Farm, the ultimate fishing headquarters. Hey, 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 John Gillespie! It's a big, beautiful fish. Oh, is that awesome. Holy moly! Oh, oh, my God. Oh. It's a huge fish! It's a huge fish! This is amazing. How do you guys? Oh, awesome. my gosh. Now, one of my favorite trips of the year, we're up on Lake of the Woods, but because of COVID, we can't go into Canada. So you arranged for us to be, I guess, on the Minnesota side of Lake of the Woods. Yes, there's a part of the lake that's in the U.S. side, so we can't go to Grassy Narrows this year, but we're here at Young's Bay, and we're going to have a great time soaking suckers like we do. Yeah, Pete, one thing I want to talk about, you're not real familiar with this end of the lake, but we'll be concentrating a lot on rocks and using suckers. Oh, absolutely. We're going to definitely concentrate on rocks overall. The, this part of the lake's a little bit shallower than we're used to, so it'll be a little bit different pattern, but I'm sure we'll be able to get on some fish, John. One thing that's interesting, too, uh, is bonus northern pike over on this side, huh? Yes, Pete and I did some, you know, pre-fishing yesterday before you showed up, and I caught, you know, five or six really, really big pike that people would love, fish of a lifetime. Oh, we just saw the picture of that big fatty you caught yesterday. I want yeah. one of those today, yeah, right? If you cast. All they're, right. They're in shallow water right now. Hey, folks, so show what we're using and how we're using it. All of that coming up right after this. Well, Pete, I'll tell you what, I've known you for 29 years and fished with you for 29 years, and you've been using Jiffy Augers the whole time. What do you like about the E6 Lightning? You know, really, the, the thing that we've talked about for years is just the longevity and durability of Jiffy just in general. I enjoy the lightness of it, without any doubt. Banging around on machinery and stuff like that, it's really tough. As far as the battery, the battery is tremendous. 70 to 80 holes easily on a charge. And the ripper blades, they last two to three times longer than the competition. They're tremendous. What I like about them is they grab. You don't have to push. You're basically just steering the jiffy. What's the difference between a good net and a great net? Simple, it's all in the features. Fortis nets by Clam Outdoors are tough. Safe on fish. Easy to use. And a telescoping handle. Learn more about Fortis nets at clamoutdoors.com. Are you a Wisconsin Farm Bureau member? If so, your member benefits now include an exclusive $250 factory cash rebate. Offer is valid on a Yamaha four-wheel drive, ATV, side-by-side, -side, or snowmobile. See your local Yamaha dealer for details. Hey, welcome back. As I mentioned at the top of the program, folks, we're on the Minnesota side of Lake of the Woods out of Young's Bay Resort. And boy, I'll tell you what, Blake, for October, this is chilly. Yeah, it's pretty chilly, but this is my favorite trip of the year, so I don't mind. 
And you know, you live in Florida. You had to get used to coming here. It's 24 degrees this morning. Man, it's cold this morning, but you buy some nice gear and you can handle it out here. Yeah, and you know what? Uh, it's a good time to fish for not only muskies, but as we said earlier, bonus big pike. And Pete, this time of the year, obviously we're gonna run the sucker. That could be uh, our savior, the way to do it if our reels freeze up. But if you're gonna cast, uh, I guess, jerk baits, that type of thing, Oh yeah, uh, jerk baits, crank baits, soft plastics mainly, John. This time of the year, the water's cooling off fast right now. Obviously, no surface baits. Probably <laughs> not a great time for the Livingston walking boss today. It might be the three-foot waves too. All right, it's been right. four hours, folks. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> hey, My that's goodness. a nice pike there, Pete. <laughs> it is actually. All right, nice way pike. to go, man. We have really struggled with uh, rods freezing up and reels freezing up, and you finally got a bite. <laughs> finally got a bite. Yeah, and boy, you guys got some beauties yesterday, didn't you, before we came? Well, yeah, what's interesting, it was like six or seven we got that were all really nice fish. This one's actually, believe it or not, it's a nice pike, but it's kind of small yeah. compared to the ones we got yesterday. But uh, this fish, interestingly, I was literally just saying, we got to go try deep. Yeah. This fish came off shallow like the ones yesterday, so. That's one thing, folks. Obviously, Lake of the Woods known for great muskie fishing, but it's also an outstanding pike fishery. It really is. You know, this isn't a very big fish, John, but if you look at how thick the back is on that fish, yeah. and uh, the fish that uh, we had yesterday were just unbelievable beefcakes like that. I mean, you, you're looking at fish that were probably 38 inches, and you're, you know, you're talking upper teens. I mean, that is amazing. Yeah. Well, and that fish ah. was up in three, four feet of water? It was shallow, yeah. yeah. What do you got there, Blake? What do you got there, Blake? What do you got there, Blake? Oh, yeah, just now take, keep your rod tip high. Keep your rod tip high, Blake. Keep your rod tip high. Oh, my gosh, look at that. Look at that. Get down on there. There you go, Blake. Look at that. Holy cow, Blake. Okay, Blake. One more turn. One more turn. Yeah. All right, Blake. Well, I'll tell you what. You, you, hey, Leitner, is she lucky with the muskies yes. or what? That is Blake's awesome. stuck again. No, it's a fish. No. I know. And then Pete yelled at me. I said, oh, Blake's stuck on a rock. No, it's a no, fish. it's a fish. It's a fish. Yes. It's oh. That was awesome. Hey, long, long day, but I'll tell you what, that a couple of seconds makes the difference, doesn't you never it? never know when Mr. Muskie can make your day. Turns on a dime, turns Woo! on a dime. Woo! And you know, poor Ryan, the photographer, is saying, oh, I think it's time to go have a cup of coffee, you know? He's been, he's been ready to go in for four hours, but we stuck to it. Hey, really interesting spot there, Pete. That's a real sharp drop off off a rock point, right? Yeah, it's really kind of interesting. Uh, Christian and I tried to spot yesterday, and there wasn't much base, bait stacked up on the on the break to the deeper water. And I was just commenting. I said we've actually got something down there. It actually looks pretty good. And then Blake got stuck. I yeah, I got stuck. <laughs> so could you feel the hit? Well, like I said before, I thought I was stuck, and then as I was reeling and trying to get it like unstuck, I felt the fish. I go, I'm not. Stuck. That's a fish, and Pete's like, "That's a fish." Later, did it too. So, Woo. oh, Blake! Yeah. Now there is there a musky on a tough fishing day. <laughs> Isn't it exciting? Yeah, and honestly, even though it's not a huge musky, it's a beautiful musky. We're on Lake of the Woods. We're with Christian Leitner, and after a long day, that was worth it. You know, she says small, you know, and that's, you oh, know, that's a, the yeah. last couple of years, you know, yeah. that we've been doing this trip, we've been catching 48 inchers. Yeah. So yeah. we go fishing in St. Germain last year, he catches a 40 and says, oh, that's tiny. Go ahead and get that back. Right. Oh, ah. <laughs> there, she there, goes. there she goes. She okay, off. good job, Blake. Well, Pete, I'll tell you what, that's uh, stick-to-itiveness today, man. We've had what you would call a grinder. 
Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's been a grinder that never got above freezing. We've literally been fighting ice all day. I, a couple of times I thought, man, maybe we'd got a troll. You know, you just got to yeah. stick with it. But well, take a, take a look at the, at the ice on the rods right now. And I mean, that's been all building day. all day long, hasn't it? Yep, all day. Well, folks, day two of our musky adventure up on Lake of the Woods. And I'll tell you what, Forrest, you're joining us today. You guide up here on the U.S. side. How, how, what do you think today? We got a little sun, but it's 25 degrees. It, it's definitely cold. Um, hopefully the sun helps a little bit. Uh, we're not going to get blown off the lake today, that's for sure, because it's been blown 20 miles an hour every day. Yeah, but I mean, uh, it's cold, and uh, we'll try suckers and everything and see if the sun helps us. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll run some suckers, do a little casting, maybe some jigging with the suckers, and go from there. Well, you kicked Blake out of the boat today, you know, so feel bad. Hey, Leitner, all right, what do you got there? Hey, Leitner, you turn and smile. Uh, it? it's, a, it's a pike. Is it a big pike, though? It's decent. Yeah, are we, we, we going to net him or what? Ooh. Come on there, Leitner! Come on, put good in there! That looks like a good fish, dude! <laughs> Nicely done, Leitner! All Thank right, you. buddy! Thank you. Now, I, I gotta tell you, folks, Leitner is such a musky aficionado that he doesn't like catching northerns. And he caught some big ones the other day. I like catching Ooh, big that's ones. that's a fish. Yes, right, that's a fish. Here, oh. Pete, here. Well, hit him with. Hit him. You He's hit him. He's going yeah. away. Oh. There you go. Oh. There you go. Come on, hang on. Yeah, I think so. I mean, yeah, that's, that's, what did you just tell me? That's what? It's not even close to what we were catching the first day, to be honest with you. It's a nice pike, you know, it's a little over 30 inches and fat as heck, but. Well, that's a good sign though, you know. That, oh yeah. yeah. I mean, yeah. I think the sun is helping us a little today. Well, let's hope, I'd like to see more of it. There's a little too much cloud cover right now. I think that sun would perk them up, yeah. I really do. Well, Pete, we lost one angler. She caught a muskie and she fell asleep, but that's all right. Hey, one thing I want to mention, folks, this was really, really a cold day for, for October. I mean, this is normally the type of weather that you fish in in late November. We never really got above freezing and all our reels are frozen solid, aren't they, Pete? Yeah, we're, we're done. I literally had to stop casting, tried all the casting reels and all we've got is vertical now. We're gonna fish a little bit longer, but we're gonna have to bag it. Yeah. It was, Miserable day. And of course the wind blew all day. Oh yeah, that makes yeah. some fun. But we did get one muskie. Yay. We got a muskie. We did get a muskie. The skies we were fishing Lake of the Woods out of Young's Bay Resort. A 10 hour drive from Milwaukee, 11 hours from Chicago, and five hours from Minneapolis. Oh, these fish are just layered up down there right now. Look at this. I'm out here fishing the new Acme Sling Blade, brand new for 2020 this winter. This is a jig that fish have never seen under the ice before. What makes this tungsten jig so different from any jig on the market, it has a free swinging hook. Check out this underwater footage. You gotta get this jig on the ice this year. Time to get out and play. Amsoil delivers the ultimate protection for your vehicles and equipment. Fast, free shipping right to your door. Just look up your vehicle, select your product, add an oil change to your cart, and check out. Spend $100 and shipping is on us. Order now at amsoil.com. The Amsoil October video fishing reports for the Midwest are now live at amsoil.com slash MFR. Well, again, we have cold weather today, enough that our, our rods and reels are freezing up. So I'm vertical jigging um, with the same bait that Blake caught that muskie on yesterday. And, and Pete, I guess this is really all you can do when you got this freezing situation is vertical jig and use suckers, right? Yeah, I mean, really the only other option is trolling, John, but when it gets this cold, you know, you've, you can maybe cast for 20 minutes and then your reel freezes up and you're probably going to break it. So. Vertical jigging is it. Nice, John. Here we go. Oh, 
Yes, Jack. Fish, fish, yes, fish. Yes, Jack, get the fish, net. Pete, Pete, Pete. Pete. That's I a nice it. one. It's a fish, Pete. It's a fish, buddy. Got a good oh, hook sorry, set on him, Pete. Sorry, Forrest. I got a good hook set on him, Pete. All right. All right, buddy. I haven't seen him yet. I haven't seen him yet. I see Get that clam over there. Get that clam over there. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here. We go. Here we go. Oh, no. Look at yes. that musky. Yeah. yeah. yeah hey. Yeah, there we go, buddy. Yes. Oh, hey, Pete. <laughs> Pete, give me five, dude. Oh. <laughs> that was cool, man. That was Sitting good. there jigging that, that rubber dubber do, and I'll tell you what, he smoked <laughs> that thing, man. Rubber did you, did you, dubber you, you didn't see the head. I didn't see it, but I heard what you got in eye. And when you're jigging like that, folks, you lift up, and they always hit on the fall. So the next time you're coming up, there's weight there, right? Yeah, next time. Oh, man, was that a cool hit. That's a nice fish, too, isn't it, Pete? <laughs> it's not a monster, but it's a nice muskie after a tough day, especially. Right? Yeah, yeah, and I'll tell you what, we've been trying to figure out a pattern. You know, years past, we were always on the Canadian side, and we knew that water a lot better. Today, we got forests with us. The weather's against us, but we caught a muskie. Yeah, we're trying to get as close as we can to really deep water. We know where the deep water is on the other side of the lake right. in Canada, and we've had to work hard here, but we finally got some contact. And I think that Pete it's finally got a spot dialed in. We started to see some Cisco marks on the locator. So obviously that's uh, where those muskies are gonna come is where the Cisco spawn. Yep, and we hit this spot earlier today and we saw some marks on the radar screen and we knew to come back and here we are. And I, I wasn't gonna miss that one. When I felt that weight, I did set them pretty good, you know? Nice. Yeah. Tough one to get a hold of. There we go. Well, Pete, my second muskie this year, buddy. Yeah. That was fun, wasn't That's it? That's a dandy, buddy. Yeah. Boy, he's a pretty nice fish. He's so clean. white. Just white and clean. And when they're when they're white like that, does that mean they come from deeper water normally? Yeah. Yeah. I believe so. He's got kind of an interesting knob oh, looking yeah, this side of his head. Taurus. Yeah, that is. Cool. I'm not gonna bother trying to turn it around. Let's get it back. No, and one one thing folks we talk about when you, you oh, catch he's a out of here. Like oh, that, don't swim back it, into the clam. Try to get your baits back in the water as fast, fast as possible, especially in the fall, right? Well, anytime, anytime there's a window, you want to get right back at it as quick as you can. So. Well, I got to talk about this. And we have a nice mind. evening. Let me slide through here. All right. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna uh, hand this bait back to you, Pete, so you can explain it. Now that's that's been a very successful bait for us, not only this year but last year too. And you just vertical jig that like we showed before, right? Yeah, and it's technically it's a casting bait, uh, but it's it literally mimics a burbot, eel pout, a lot of folks call them, got us nice little flappy wings here, but it's weighted enough that, yeah, you can you can vertical jig it, and we've actually done better vertical jigging than casting with it. And another interesting thing on this trip so far is that these vertical jigging baits have been a heck of a lot more successful than the live bait, the suckers. Yeah, that's interesting. You do see patterns like that, but generally at some point in the day, the, the live bait will often outperform, but Boy, so far they're ignoring that. So, well, and and that was a steep break that you're working in from about 11 feet out to about 25 feet. Yeah, we're just working the break. It seems like, at least today anyway, sometimes they'll be down on the base of the uh, the deeper water, and sometimes they'll be right on the edge. It seems like they're right on the edge right now. Yay! Two muskies for me. Yay! <laughs> Breaking news from Flea Farm, check out this steal. The Back 40 fish breading is on sale for four for five dollars. On sale for four for five dollars. The new Johnsonville sauces strips are now available. And today I'm making mac and cheese with the Johnsonville sausage strips in bits. This is very simple. All you gotta do is make some mac and cheese, cut up the Johnsonville sausage strips and sprinkle them on your mac and cheese. I love mac and cheese, but man, does this make mac and cheese so much better. Mmm. The Johnsonville sausage strip bits give it so much flavor. For more recipes from Johnsonville, go to SausageStrips.com. You've heard the saying, if it looks like bacon and it tastes like sausage, it's probably Johnsonville sausage strips. Oh, you never heard that? Well, sausage strips are pretty new. 
There are strips of sausage in amazing flavors like maple and chorizo. You can find this meaty miracle by the bacon, even though it's sausage. Whoa. On the water, every second counts. So when there's a fish at 3 o'clock, be right on time with Mega 360 Imaging. Every sweep of our newest technology offers 125 feet of absolute clarity all around your boat so you can see fish and every detail in every direction. With a clearer picture of what's below, you can catch fish like clockwork. Mega 360 Imaging, only from Humminbird. It's now time to announce this week's winners of Fleet Farm, John Gillespie's Waters and Woods 2020 Fishing Contest. This week's first winner is Chad Grossbeyer of Blaine, Minnesota, caught this 22-inch smallmouth bass on Lake Shakopee using a crawler. Jeremy Weiss of East Troy, Wisconsin, caught this 31-inch walleye in Green Bay using a flicker minnow. Jimmy Gitz of Prairie Grove, Illinois, caught this 50-and-a-half-inch muskie on Trout Lake using a bucktail. Teresa Shower of Waukesha, Wisconsin, caught this 46-inch king salmon on Lake Michigan using a Lucky Strike cowbell. And this week's first kid winner is Emma Skeering of Wausau, Wisconsin, caught this 41 and a half inch muskie on the Wisconsin River using a swim bait. And Blake Paulson of Nina, Wisconsin, caught this 15 inch crappie on a farm pond using a rooster tail. Each week, I shop online at fleetfarm.com to check out the latest deals. Check out what I found this week. When you buy a Zippo Heat Bank 9S Plus rechargeable hand warmer for $49.99, you get a free $10 Fleet Farm gift card and save $12 on the Wildlife Research Center 4-ounce special golden estrus for $9.99. That, I marked nice that fish, Pete. I marked that That's fish. That's beautiful. Nice that job. was so cool, wasn't it, Forrest? Here, Forrest. That was awesome, buddy. All right, be Ooh, oh, look at the size pike. of that northern pike. A nice it's a pike. giant pike. It's a giant <laughs> pike. Oh, yeah. Whoa, there we go. Hey, hey, hey. <laughs> I'll tell you, that was the coolest thing, folks. I'm looking at the hummingbird there. And Forrest, come on up here for a second, buddy. Hold on to that net. But did you t talk loud? Did you see what happened there? Yeah, you had said that there was a, there was a fish mark way up about 10 feet. and. We saw you were further down, so I told you to reel up, and it wasn't five seconds, and he, he hammered. No, I reeled that right up to the big mark on the screen. Folks gave a one rip, and boy, did he smoke that. <laughs> and uh, that is a beautiful northern pike. And, you know, we talked about it earlier in the program. Before we got here, Christian and Pete caught a bunch of these big ones. But uh, that's a bonus. There are a lot of big ones in here. There's a lot of really nice northern pike up here, yeah. Yeah, well, that was cool, man. Good one, Leitner, huh, buddy? I'll take it. Well, there it is. Now, that, that fish is not built, is it? I mean, you know, peak compared to what you guys were catching, right? Yeah. What do you think that is, about 36? Yeah, it's about that. Yeah, but the ones you guys were catching the other day had the big old tummies. This guy's a little thin. Beefcakes. But, yeah. Was that, that, I love that. It's like ice fishing with a hummingbird, you know? You see your bait, you see your bait, then you see a fish up, boom, 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 boom. <laughs> yeah, that was cool. Well, the end of day two of our fishing trip, Wes, and uh, I think we ended up catching a muskie or two, but you guys, you, Travis, Adam, and Saul, were in my recon today fishing a different spot. What happened? Uh, so we found a spot, looked at the territory, and, and we came through, and we saw marked fish stacked up during a certain period, and they were hungry. Okay, so you caught a big one. How big was that one? It was 47 inches. That was, and what a girth looking it, at that picture, buddy. It was buddy. a very, very healthy fish. Okay, and then you caught another one? Yeah, caught a, probably about a 34-inch. And that was on? That was actually on Sucker. Okay, so you got both ears on suckers. Both on suckers. Okay, now we're going to get Saul's picture. What did he, he caught his on a rubber jig? He did. He caught his on a rubber burbot. The same thing I was using, yes, right? Yes, jigging it. Okay, and then he caught another one. Same, on the turn, another nice, uh, <laughs> nice muskie right. on that same bait. And it was interesting, too. Now, you found those fish on a, on a break on a rock bar. Yeah, you know, they were really sitting there. There was a bunch of bait fish in the area, too. Well, you guys got one more day left, so catch a bunch. Yeah, we will. Hey, get Johnson pumped. Get Johnson pumped. Folks, when you're out fishing in the cold all day, you get really, really hungry. And the place that I love to go up here is called Jerry's 
bar and restaurant. And Ryan, I'll tell you what, comfort food at its best. Tell us some of the things on the menu. Great burgers. People love our burgers. Uh, we have great soup, chili. Um, we'll do uh, weekly specials with, um, you know, kind of more meat and potatoes type type stuff, and uh, people people really love it. Well, the best food I've had, and I'll tell you what, when we get into the ice season, which is right around the corner, yeah. it's popular for what ice fishermen and what ice fishing, snowmobiling. Um, that's about it in the winter. But everybody's up here and everybody's hungry. You got a full bar, great place to visit, great place to come, friendly service, big portions, and comfort food. And uh, you're located at? Young's yep. Bay. Young's Bay, right yep. next to Young's Bay Resort, right? Exactly. All right. Yep. Hey, thanks, yep. buddy. Enjoy Appreciate the food, it. man. Thank you. For more information on ice fishing and snowmobiling at Young's Bay Resort, call 218-223-8031. 223-8031. Folks, here's a couple of important facts that you should know about Eagle Claw hooks. Number one, Eagle Claw is the only hook in the world made right here in the USA. Number two, American workmanship guarantees innovation, and we've been doing it since 1925. Number three, Eagle Claw's in-house superior technology builds Eagle Claw, Laser Sharp, and Trocar brands. <laughs> Look at the size of that yeah. fish! All right. Oh my gosh! Fish get hooked on Eagle Claw. So should you. Uh, oh, Pete, I'm getting too old for this. So, John, you haven't heard of Brian's Custom Steps? Oh, Pete, those are awesome. How can I get a set? Yeah, I love these big no-slip platforms, and they're made right here in Wisconsin. For more information on Brian's Custom Steps, call 920-315-0333. From cutting back to cleaning up, Fleet Farm has everything you need to get your yard ready for fall. Whether you're giving the lawn one last feed, showing that woodpile who's boss, or powering through the leaves, there's a reason people say, if Fleet Farm doesn't have it, I don't need it. Because we have it all. Fleet Farm. You won't believe what you'll find. Hey, Leitner, we caught too many fish, so we're going to have to do two shows again this year. But one thing I want to talk about is Young's Bay Resort, where we stayed. And folks, I can feel it. Ice fishing is in the air, snowmobiling's in the air, and that is the place to stay uh, when you get up here. They have gorgeous cabins. The cabins are tremendous. They're clean, they're beautiful, they're well heated. There's a restaurant on the grounds. But Young's Bay Resort also has gas. They have uh, lures, bait everything you need and uh, a great place to stay if you're coming up here snowmobiling or ice fishing hey give me five dude that was a lot of fun and folks that is our show for today please join us next week i do know where we're going to fish at it's right here on lake of the woods until then i'm john gillespie hoping to see you enjoying john gillespie's waters and woods hey, hey.